Next, we have Diana Anderson from the ANU College of Law. And the title of Diana's three-minute thesis tonight is, What is Law? When Indigenous Australians describe their traditional law, they describe a complex system that connects people to country. And yet, for 200 years, the entire Australian legal system was based upon the idea that Indigenous Australian peoples had no law at all. It was actually the law that Indigenous Australians had no law, the doctrine of terra nullius. Now, as we all know, terra nullius was finally rejected in the landmark Mabo decision, nearly 30 years ago now. And since then, Australian law has, at long last, acknowledged that Indigenous law does exist. So I wondered, what was it that changed 30 years ago? Was it that the courts had developed a new appreciation for Indigenous law? Or had our own idea of what counts as law become more open? I researched over 200 years of British Australian legal thought, searching for anything I could find on the idea of law. I looked at cases and statutes, at works of legal anthropology and hefty volumes on legal philosophy. I read books and papers, lecture notes and speeches. What I was looking for in all of these documents was how Indigenous Australian law was portrayed and how that compared to the idea of what law is. What I found was that across the centuries, across multiple and diverse schools of thought, all of these theories that I looked at had one striking thing in common. All of them singled out Indigenous Australia as the prime example of what is not law. And that's when it occurred to me. This was never about Indigenous law. This was only ever about the boundaries of what counts as law in the West and as the explicit limit of what counts as law and what doesn't. The denial of law to Indigenous Australia is actually an essential part of the Western concept of law itself, making it practically impossible to conceive of Indigenous law as law. But it doesn't have to be like this. We can rethink the way we lawyers conceptualise law. We can open our minds and our hearts what Indigenous people say about what law is.